In today's video, I'll be discussing my 10 favorite characters voiced by Eric Vale. Eric Vale is an American actor who has voiced many characters ranging from the brave and the bold, the sinister and dark, and even the shameless and goofy. This list is based on my opinion and what I've heard and seen, so if there's a character I've missed, feel free to comment. And with the intro out of the way, let's get into it. Number 10. Kenjiro Toki, A Sister's All You Need It's my editor, run! Ugh. Oh, how nice. Glad you're having a good time. Starting with a romantic comedy in Japan, Eric voices the main protagonist, editor, who fits perfectly well into the world of being a novelist. Serious, the kind not to take any flag when making deadlines while also caring, Kenjiro is the kind of editor you would want to have your back to make sure you stick to reality, which makes him all the more relatable with Eric's gruff, registered voice and tough love-like demeanor, especially when dealing with a novelist with a little sister complex. Okay, but washing your face with the bathwater your sister just used is normal. So can we keep that? Everyone does it. Like hell everyone does it! You freaking sister complex freak! Number 9. Akatsuki Osawa, the Aesthetica of a Rogue Hero. So that it for you then? Because I don't know how long I can watch this before I kick your ass. <laughs> In a school known as Babel, whose purpose is to guide men and women with special powers on the right path, Eric lends his voice as the protagonist, a teenage male who's not only one of the most powerful, but also one of the most prideful, aloof, and pervy, and is no stranger to voicing such a character. What's the problem? You sprain your ankles trying to catch the bouquet? It's okay. Maybe we just roll down those stockings and play doctor. <laughs> However, despite his negatives, Akoski has some good, making himself the villain to help people less fortunate than him and refusing to see a woman cry or be in danger. It's those aspects themselves that make him a complex and interesting character. I hope you're aware of the tragedy you might have caused. The next time you feel like doing some grandstanding, we'll all thank you to do it somewhere other than the middle of a hostage situation. Thing is, I never ignore a girl's tears. That's just kind of a rule I have. I don't expect you to understand. You're impossible! Number 8. Licked Bach, Plunderer. You're kinda on the heavy side. Uh, uh, heavy? Oh man, I think my arms might fall off. Maybe cut down on the sweets? I'm just saying, you know. Uh, you big jerk! Hey, 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 not in the face, that's my money maker! In this anime, the world is governed by counts, a certain number engraved on your body that represents something in your life and what determines your status. Yet again, Eric voices the main pervy protagonist. However, when you delve into his backstory, Licht is one of the many tragic characters on this list. Licht is a soldier of war, having been trained and forced to kill despite his ideals not to and traumatic past. However, he never stops fighting the good fight to uphold his promises to his loved ones, and under his pervy demeanor and hidden bloodlust, he also has a kind heart, which Eric performs with great skill, making Licht all the more compelling. I will never lose again! I don't have a choice anymore! I'll defeat you! Cause heat is counting on me! Number 7. Solf J. Kimbley. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We now come to one of the few villains Eric has voiced, a former state alchemist who loves to make things explode, particularly humans. I couldn't dream of a more fulfilling job. While Eric has portrayed countless heroes, he's shown impeccable work when voicing villains, and Kimberly is no exception. Kimberly is a murderous, psychotic maniac who uses his alchemy to blow things up with a simple touch. He's also quite the Darwinist and the Nihilist, believing everything to be pointless, which he uses to justify his sadism. Eric manages to maneuver through Kimberly's realistic and murderous qualities with his experience, making us know when to hate him or think if there's some truth to his madness, making Kimberly all the more intriguing as a villain. One thing worse than death is to avert your eyes from it. 
Look straight at the people you kill. Don't take your eyes off them for a second. And don't ever forget them, because I promise that they won't forget you. Number 6. Arthur Boyle, Fire Force In another alternative Tokyo setting where people are mysteriously combusting into flames setting things ablaze, special fire brigades known as the Fire Force exist to help deal with them. However, there is one member of the force who, while competent, is a bit different than the norm. That member is Arthur, a male who has the power to wield plasma and mold it into swords. The Eye Caliber Attack! His eccentricity comes from his belief of being a knight, enough for it to be a key factor when he fights with his powers. However, that doesn't make him any less of a vital team member. And with Eric going all in with this portrayal, it also doesn't make him any less funny and perfect for the role. Good grief, who would wear such a ridiculous costume? Seems you would, huh? Wait, that's me? No way. Number 5. Takuma Sakamoto, aka Diablo, How to Not Summon a Demon Lord Our next character is a shun-in who was unexpectedly brought into his game as his avatar in a summon gone wrong in one of Eric's popular portrayals. This man is heavily introverted, having trouble talking to anybody, yet he also projects a haughty persona, which Eric performs spectacularly, upping his comedy and having us rolling with laughter. Like this. The shocker! Nope, no times no divided by no to the power of oh hell no. What is wrong with her? And where did she learn that gesture? Though he's socially awkward, Diablo isn't afraid to show off his strength to those who look down upon him, albeit incidentally or accidentally. And should you ever threaten his party, or if you happen to be a couple, pray that your end be swift, for he is the demon lord from another world, and he will show you no mercy. It doesn't make sense! What the hell are you?! My name is Diablo, a demon lord from another world. Number 4. Loki, Fairy Tale. In the magical world of Fiore, there is a universe separate from it where celestial spirits live, which celestial wizards can call upon using their magic. One of them happens to be the leader of a group known as the Zodiac, and he is none other than Leo the Lion. Look out, Miss Lucy behind you! I've got this regular impact! Thanks! You show up on your own a lot. Eric once again portrays a flirtatious young male, but what sets Loki apart is that he's loyal to his contractor Lucy, wielding the might of Regulus to protect her and his fellow Zodiac spirits, and he isn't afraid to show how much he loves her, even though it can be perceived as annoying and one-sided. We spirits are not like your little dolls. Love makes us stronger. Regulus Impact! Number 3. Vin Smokes Sanji, One Piece. From the legendary mind of Oda, we now come to one of Eric's most iconic roles, flexing his range as the Straw Hat Pirate Chef, a man who can certainly cook in the kitchen and on the battlefield. Sanji typically handles all the food aspects of the crew, and takes great care when preparing their meals. He's also a self-appointed ladies' man who goes gaga as soon as he sees one, which can make him as goofy as his immature peers. But when pushed too far, Sanji isn't afraid to give his enemies a full course meal of pain, using his incredible kicking style of fighting, which is also why he's known for his title, Black Lake Sanji. Diablo Shamba? Wait! Shamba! Number 2. Tomura Shigaraki, My Hero Academia 
It was a tough call, but taking this spot is one of the most iconic villains in Eric's repertoire. Needing no introduction whatsoever, Eric portrays Tomura perfectly by balancing his deviousness and his conviction about destroying the hero society due to his past, which makes him all the more lovable by fans. I see it now. All the dots connected. Why he makes me so angry. Why you irritate me so much. Everything makes sense. It's him. The problem is all night. His scratchy tone filled with menace and off-the-handle evil makes him an excellent foil to Deku. And as he continues to grow alongside his foe on his journey with his powerful decay quirk while being the successor of All for One, Tomura just might be the ultimate supervillain that not even the heroes can hope to stop. Someone so obsessed with erasing quirks shouldn't have one of their own. Don't you agree? Now you don't even have a thumb to suck on! You're doomed to watch from the sidelines as your dream falls apart! Let's do our best! Before we get to my number one choice, here are some honorable mentions. Kanata Mizuno, Desert Punk. The funniest part is I told the guy that Stryker likes him back, but he's really shy! So he just has to romance him a bit, isn't that brilliant? Now that's love! Justin Law, Soul Leader. Oh, Lord Death, please grant me strength. Attention, DWMA students! As there is only one opponent, I will end this quickly. Please wait a moment if you don't mind. Damn, he's loud. Because of the earphones, maybe? Akira Kaburagi Regendorf, Dance in the Vampire Bund. All I want is for you to be with me until my final moments. Are you sure? I may not be the only Minatepesh out there. Well, you're the only princess that matters to me. Number one, Trunks, Dragon Ball franchise. Taking the top spot has to go to none other than the half Saiyan hybrid son of Bulma and Vegeta, who came from a terrible future, turning the Dragon Ball universe upside down. You hate the fact that you're powerless to stop me, that you're completely outmatched. Well, imagine feeling the way you do now all of the time like the people of this planet do. Fools! How do you think my master Gohan felt when you ganged up on him in the rain and he had no way out? Well, now it's your turn. I hope you enjoy it. To those who haven't seen Dragon Ball, Trunks is a boy who grew up in a world where two androids wreak havoc on the world, with not even Goku around to stop them. To save his world, and with some help from Bulma, Trunks goes back in time to prevent such a fate, and as they say, the rest is history. Eric flawlessly portrays Trunks' range of emotions, especially during his battles. And after numerous seasons and video games, Eric certainly has cemented this character as one of his best roles in history. And here's wishing to Shenron that he will continue to do so for the many years that follow forward. Black? This is right now! I'm gonna kill you myself!